Ready to play again on his surgically repaired hip. Patrick Kane has chosen to resume his NHL career with the Detroit Red Wings, league sources said. Kane has agreed to a one-year contract in Detroit after spending the past couple of weeks whittling down his options in free agency, the sources said. The New York Rangers, Florida Panthers, Buffalo Sabres and Toronto Maple Leafs were among the teams who showed interest in the 35-year-old winger. Kane is returning to the NHL after having hip resurfacing surgery on June 1. He was given a six-month recovery timeline and basically hit that projection on the nose, spending a good chunk of the past few months in the Greater Toronto area receiving treatment, doing rehab work and skating. He's coming off the least productive season of his NHL career with 57 points in 73 games split between the Rangers and Chicago Blackhawks, albeit a season in which he dealt with the nagging hip injury and spent five months playing for a Chicago team in the throes of a teardown. In Detroit, Kane joins an organization finally showing signs of emerging from a long rebuilding process and one where he'll be reunited with Alex Dabrinkit, a line mate he clicked with during their time together in Chicago. Dabrinkit leads the Red Wings with 12 goals through 20 games so far this season. At the 3rd of June 11, Detroit holds down a playoff spot in the competitive Atlantic division. One of Kane's priorities was landing with a team that gave him a chance to chase another championship. Kane was a central figure in three Stanley Cup victories with the Blackhawks, taking home the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP in 2013, and a second all-time in scoring to Mike Madano among U.S.-born players with 1,237 points. His resume also features a Calder Trophy, Art Ross Trophy, Hart Trophy and Ted Lindsay Award. Kane was recognized as one of the NHL's 100 greatest players in 2017. The native of Buffalo, NY, will be reconnecting with some old Michigan roots now that he's joining the Red Wings, having spent a season playing for the Honeybaked AAA team in Farmington Hills as a teenager before joining the U.S. National Team Development Program for two seasons in Ann Arbor. How does Kane fit the Red Wings? The Red Wings made a big push for more depth this past offseason, and while that's largely been successful offensively, they're a top five team in goals per game. They still could use more firepower in the top six, and that's what Kane brings. The big question is what he will look like after hip resurfacing surgery, but even if his mobility is hampered by it, Kane's playmaking should be an asset and give Detroit more dimensions at the top of their lineup. Certainly, the thought of reuniting Kane and Debrinket as a tantalizing one. Max Boltman, Red Wings staff writer how he impacts Detroit's playoff chances it helps them. The Red Wings have been hot since returning home from the NHL Global Series, sitting in third place in the Atlantic Division.